against that beautiful green shipish looking building down on Water Street that everybody drove by for a long time and said, what the heck is that going to be? We've been trying to think of ways to, uh, that our paths might come together. And uh, because we sure enjoy the work that they're doing. And Martin Walls has been really instrumental in inviting us and helping us display our posters at the Center of Excellence opening a few weeks ago, which was, if you weren't there, very, very impressive. And, um, and we're really grateful that he could come here today to just speak for a few moments about the celebration, about our mural and his work and the work that we're all doing together. And so, our friend Martin Walls. He's absolutely beautiful. Um, they're going to be an inspiration to the neighbourhood. Uh, we consider <laughs> ourselves part of the neighbourhood. We're sort of near neighbours. It only took me 10 minutes. I didn't drive today because it's Earth Day. Well, I wouldn't have driven anyway, but unless there was a storm, I guess. It only took me 10 minutes to walk over here, so I think we're, we're definitely neighbours, you know, what, each end of the neighbourhood. Uh, if you've not uh, stopped by the Syracuse Centre of Excellence, you can sign up for a tour anytime at our website. So I urge you to do that because what you will do. Uh, or what you will see when you're uh, at the Centre of Excellence is some of these concepts being put into action. Buildings are uh, the biggest gas guzzlers we have. Never mind your car, it's the uh, buildings that we live in that uh, need to be uh, greatly reformed uh, if we are to become energy independent, if we're going to uh, stop uh, using um, unrenewable resources and start to use the, these sorts of renewable resources. So uh, you'll see at the center of excellence in terms of water power. Um, it's ridiculous that we flush our toilets with potable water. But at the center of excellence, we don't do that. We collect rainwater and we flush our toilets with rainwater. It's dyed blue so that any of us uh, tempted to drink out of the toilet bowls. <laughs> don't, don't do that anymore. Solar energy. Um, a lot of people come to the center of excellence and say, why aren't there solar panels? on the roof. Well, there, there is space for solar panels on the roof. We want to, at the Centre of Excellence, test the next generation, the next next generation of solar panels. If you saw uh, PBS on Monday, you would have seen uh, California, a street ahead of everybody else, uh, making solar panels out of uh, thin film nanotechnology now. Solar panels aren't like those things Jimmy Carter put on the roof that were just enormous. Uh, but we also, we take, um, we take advantage of the sun. There's glass everywhere in our building. Uh, it's there for passive heating and passive lighting. We don't have to have lights on at our desk. There's enough light coming from, from the sun. Wind power. We don't yet have um, wind technology at the center of excellence, uh, but we have researchers who are looking into uh, wind power. But one of the things we do at the center of excellence is uh, fund research into these sorts of technologies, wind, water, um, and geothermal, well, that's that. I, Marie kindly said yeah, I could take a poster home or back to the Centre of Excellence today. So I chose geothermal because geothermal is how we heat the Centre of Excellence. With 49, I can remember all of this now 49 300 feet deep wells, getting uh, 68 degrees of permanent warmth out of the earth. And that's the, that's the way we should be heating our homes. Your geothermal, you don't need uh, volcanoes anymore to get heat out of the earth. In fact, you don't have to put uh, wells down 300 feet. You only have to go about five or six, seven, eight, ten feet down to get the benefits from the sun heating the earth and, and keeping the warmth down there ready for us to tap. You know, why, are, why haven't we thought of this before? The, the artist, maybe Marie ought to say something about it, the artist who came up with these posters was thinking about this, what, 30, 40 years ago? 1983. Yeah, okay, so yeah, they're getting yeah. on for 30 years ago. So, um, you know, these ideas have been out there. Um, and, um, you know, the Centre of Excellence is here to try and teach people that these technologies are here and can be used now. Homes can be retrofitted, offices can be retrofitted. Okay, thanks for having me. Okay,